Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Nolan. It's been a while since I've done like a little story time. Uh, I think this is going to be like a series that I do like ever so now and then. It's not going to be like every time. It's going to be whenever I have a story or whenever I feel like you guys want to hear one, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but this one is pretty much my experience on the register for the first two days. So the first day... Ooh, man, on the register, it was insane. Because if you guys don't know, I work on the weekends now, right now. Well, for now. And dear God, when I say the weekend is the most hectic for like cashiers at the register, it is hectic. Like you have like loads of people pouring in, but you know, your coworkers come in, help you out, try to, you know, kind of even it out a little bit. But there's not going to be a loan on the next time that it happens. So, yeah, I got to get ready for that. That's going to be totally fun. I made a few mistakes here and there, you know, still learning everything. My my manager is pretty lenient, helping me out. Strong-willed as hell, for sure. Like, <laughs> this woman has the patience of a god. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep the job, though, because... They still haven't been able to put me through my training because there's always issues of trying to get me into the computer for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, as of right now, the customers are actually pretty cool. I met some, you know, somewhat rude ones, somewhat, no, not in the mood type people. But, you know, there hasn't really been too many of those. Actually been more of like more happy people because our store the manager just pretty much knows every single person who comes in or is pretty much so well with no fits so well with people to where she could just make a conversation like pretty easy me i i started working on that on the second day you know trying to talk a little bit more a little bit more uh, <laughs> then you just see those people who you just seem clearly aren't in the mood to be talking to. That yeah, that's those those people. I just feel like I shouldn't say anything and piss off too much, but I I still try to you know tell them ask them how their day's doing and stuff like that. Try to make a little bit of small chatter. It it worked out for quite a few people though. You know, talking with them. Um. The only thing I need to get used to is counting again <laughs> and learning where the labels and stuff are for like barcodes and stuff. I just need to start remembering that and I can easily get it done. And I do need to start doing like some of the more tedious stuff like like opening the icebox. Well, not opening the icebox. The icebox is already open. But I'm pretty soon I'm going to have to do the whole propane thing, go outside, get people propane, stuff like that. It's real tedious. It is, it is, but it's actually not as difficult as I thought it was after the second day. So hopefully, as it goes on, I'll be able to do a lot more. <laughs> but I can definitely say working gas here is not easy. It's definitely not too easy. But... Versus like, you know, stocking and everything. That's pretty easy. But you, you definitely don't have it easy when it comes to like communication. Especially if you don't like communicate with too many actual people. You know, I'm better communicating with most of you guys over the internet than I am like face to face for sure. That I do know. But I am working on that for now. But mostly, like I said, in most of my videos, you guys have helped me interact with more people over the time of doing YouTube and it's actually been pretty damn cool and when I asked the the question of if you guys wanted these like story type things I was actually thinking nobody would want them but apparently you guys don't mind at all but I'm gonna have a lot more stories now and then for sure even my evil like what was it elementary days yeah when I was like a young naive kid Oh, I have so many stories for you guys. I cannot wait. And there's some of them are 
pretty dumb, dark, stupid. And I I don't know how you guys are going to respond to it. Probably see me in a different light of what I was when I was, like, real younger. But, fuck it. We're just, we're just going to go with it and see how it goes. But, at best, everything has been going pretty good so far. I know you guys haven't really gotten like a lot of one-on-one -on -one videos with me like this for a while and I haven't updated you guys on the whole PC thing. Um, PC has been moved back. Uh, the motherboard that I had received isn't the one that I need so I'm sending it back and getting the refund. Then I'm going to order the right one that I need which costs a little bit more so yeah I'll be working that off so <laughs> that should be fun totally should be fun so yeah that's a little bit of an update push back a little bit further um i i kind of said that it cost a lot more than it was supposed to but i also got my bank stuff figured out got job situation somewhat figured out it just needs to get me in the computer then i'm good but really want to get this stuff done so I can just you know be officially on the payroll so I can get more hours and stuff like that more money but so far it's actually been not half bad in pay well personally for myself since I'm not like you know living on my own for now then when I live on my own then I'm gonna have to try to get those hours you know <laughs> but so it's been pretty cool my co-workers aren't too bad to be honest all of them are pretty nice from what I've met and that's probably only like two coworkers personally talking to. <laughs> the rest of them mostly just do their own thing. But they do help out, that's for sure. And don't leave me in the dark. I'm not sure about the next time, but you know, we we will see. Can't wait to see what challenges are thrown my way. <laughs> but I I'm so tired, man. I'm gonna have to stream after this too. But I've been playing a lot of overhead though. I, I think I may be addicted and today screw something up, but right now it's just been really good. <laughs> but I can definitely say on the second day of working cashier, everything was a lot more easier now that I got like most of the process down. But like I was saying, the label and Cash counting is the, definitely the thing I'm going to have to do a lot more of because you got to get the numbers back in my head. You know, I haven't been to school for so long. Got to get the math going again, stuff like that, back and forth. And communication. Communication is probably going to be somewhat of the worst thing. But, yeah. <sighs> Still learning the whole, uh, what was it? Yeah, no, I'm just going to say I'm learning the basics because I've never used a register ever in my life. Like I guess that this is pretty much the first official job that I've had inside like a store and stuff. I've never stocked. I've never, you know, um, used a register. So far, pretty easy, but not easy at the same time. But makes me wonder if I was to get a job somewhere else would it be that easy because I don't personally know um if it doesn't work out at the job that I am at I'll probably just see if Walmart is hiring too so hopefully this does work out and I don't have to change anywhere but yeah <laughs> I'll just probably go somewhere that has like the same skills and stuff like that. Stocking, register, you know, try to get it down, learn it. But as of right now, it's kind of like a struggle since it is basically my first time doing that. Yeah, but it's pretty cool so far. With that said, I got to go ahead and end off here and go stream before everybody falls asleep. That's for sure. <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow. I definitely got some videos ready for you guys. We got a Destiny Child and an overhead video, maybe. Then I have another game that I can show off. But, yeah, I'm going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until then, peace out. See you guys for our next story time whenever. <laughs> Until then, peace out.